Welcome to our English class. I hope all of you wrote the rag dear lesson and did you write the ST children? Till now who did not write ST, write and send to my WhatsApp number. Okay children? Today we are going to learn a poem about grandmother. All of you are having grandmothers? Yes, you are having grandmother in your house. Yes, who is grandma? Father's mother or mother's mother? She is called as grandmother. Yes, I hope all of you enjoy the company of your grandmother. Isn't it children? You love to spend time with your grandmother. They love you a lot. They tell stories to you. They give, they feed you. They give different items to you. Isn't it? Yes, I hope all of you also love your grandmother. Yes children, here a small poem is there about grandmother. Once you listen how I am singing, then afterwards you also can sing. Grandmas are for stories about things of long ago. Grandmas are for caring about all the things you know. Grandmas are for rocking you and singing you to sleep. Grandmas are for giving you Nice memories to keep. Grandmas are for knowing all the things you are dreaming of. But most important of all, grandmas are for love. Yes, children, you also will read along with me now. Okay, try to read like me and after that you practice. Yes. Read all of you. Grandmas are for stories about things of long ago. It means what children? Grandmothers are telling stories about things of long ago. Long back ago, what happened? All they will tell like stories to you. I hope your grandmothers also tell stories daily, night time. Isn't it? Before going to sleep, they will tell stories to you. Next, grandmas are for caring about all the things you know. It means what? They are taking care about you, no children? Morning after waking up, they will give milk or breakfast to you. They give food to you. They play with you. They talk many things to you. When you are very small like a small baby, when you did not walk, they carry you. They, they took a lot of care about you. Yes, that only. They are for caring. They take more care about us because they love us. Okay, next one. Grandmas are for rocking you and singing you to sleep. It means what? Rocking means they keep on them and they swing like this, no? To make you to sleep. Yes, children, that is rocking. Rocking means moving. When you are like a small baby, even nowadays also in second class, maybe they swing you. Yes, they make you to sleep. They sing also. They sing some songs to make you sleep. Next one. Grandmas are for giving you nice memories to keep. Yes, what they are giving you? They are giving memories. Memories means whatever you are playing or listening stories. Okay. All that you are keeping in your memories. Yes. When you grow up. When you grow up 30 years, 40 years old. At that time maybe they won't be on the earth. Isn't it? Already they are old. And day by day they become old. No. So they are giving you memories. Till your life and you can remember your grandparents. Next. Grandmas are for knowing all the things you are dreaming of. Yes, what they are knowing? They are understanding all your dreams. What are you thinking in your mind also? They can observe. They know each and everything whatever you are doing. Yes, children. So, whatever you are dreaming, what you want to do, all that they will come to know. Okay, they will understand everything about you. Next one. 
But most important of all, grandmas are for love. They love you a lot. Okay, children. It is about grandmothers. Okay. I hope all of you also love your grandmothers. But what you are doing? They are doing a lot for you. Yes. Telling stories, taking care about you. So many things they are doing for you. And what you are doing for them? You also should love your grandmother. You go and hug your grandmother and say, I love you. Okay. And help them. Give some water to them. When they are eating food, serve them food. Help to them. Okay, children. Always we have to help the old parents or the grandparents. Okay. Today, once you see here the textbook. Here the poem is given, children, in the textbook. All of you are having textbooks, I think so. You read these stanzas and underline the hard words. Okay, children. Next, here you see a flower diagram is there. I will send this photograph. All of you also in the empty petals, you also write about your grandmother, what they are doing. Here I wrote, see, she tells stories to me. She makes me to sleep by singing. She feeds me, sorry, she feeds me food. She plays with me. I wrote here, no children. You also write like that in the textbook. I will send the photograph. Okay. Once again, you read the poem. Thank you. Now look at this video, children. All of you see the picture? Yeah. There are two children, the small kid. They are playing with their grandmother. You see how they are playing. They are welcoming their grandmother. And she is giving something to the babies. Now here you see she is feeding food to the small boy and a girl. Yes children. Here you see the small little boy is waking up her grandmother. Asking to tell stories. Yes. She is telling stories, feeding to them, playing with them. Yes, children. I hope all of you also play like this with your grandparents. They are singing, dancing, working, playing, doing all the things, sharing everything with their grandmother. Yes, children, are you enjoying this video? You also playing like this with your grandparents? Yes. Many things your grandmother is doing for you like this, no? Yes, children, you also should help to your grandmother. Okay, children, I hope all of you enjoy this video. Once again, see the textbook and read the grandmother poem. Okay, thank you.